Hi everyone, welcome back to Winging It. My name's Rebecca from Feather Stitch House. It's week 27 and it's the first week in July and that means we're dealing with a new colour prompt this week and so through July we're going to be exploring the colour blue. Now I can't wait to show you our panel this week. We're going to be making a three-dimensional butterfly and it is officially my favourite panel so far. So you're going to need your panel of felt plus some extra felt to make your butterfly. A few bits of fabrics will come in handy and if you've got variegated threads that would be ideal but don't worry if not any threads will do. So grab all your bits and pieces and let's get stitching. My first idea was based around blue being the colour of the sky and I was struck by how popular the umbrellas were a few months ago back in pastels month and i thought i wonder if we could do the same technique but with some balloons i do quite like this idea but i did worry that there wasn't going to be enough opportunity for our chain stitch variations to be used on it when i was looking for inspiration a lot of the pictures that i came across were of landscapes and the way that Things look misty blue at dusk or early in the morning and I wondered about creating a landscape. We have talked about landscapes before but perhaps making layers of increasingly strong blues coming forward and using some stitching to create some tree lines and some mountains in the background. But again my issue was that we I couldn't see how we were going to use our chain stitches very effectively. So what I landed on, no pun intended there, was a common blue butterfly. It's sad that they're called common because they're now one of the most endangered butterflies in the UK. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for doing something three dimensional. And I thought these sort of patterns and lines on the wings would be a really great way to use our stitches of the month. So what i thought we could do was create a butterfly but in three dimensions so the wings sit off the base felt a little bit and so that it can move around a bit so this is the idea that i was going to go with and i've created a template for this and you can find it at the address at the bottom of the screen on our website and you can download that for free so i'm going to be working on this blue felt it's both bright and dusky at the same time and I thought it would be a really nice, quite natural, organic shade to use in our work. And I've got some threads out. I've got some six strand embroidery threads and I've picked out some variegated blue threads from my collection because I thought they might be nice to use on the wings and create their own patterns within our stitches. So that that's what I'm leaning towards using. I've already gone ahead and cut out my pattern pieces and what I want are two pieces of felt for each wing. So I need two top left wings, two bottom left wings and then I'm going to flip my pattern over and cut out two more of each and that way I can make a double sided wing. So that way I've got back to back pieces for each of the wings and I've also cut a body piece out of navy blue. What I'm going to do is mark on our wing patterns. So I've got my trusty heat erase pen and I'm going to start with these bottom wings first because what we want is to just create some lines. Now you could make this completely abstract if you wanted to but I want it to be semi-realistic. So common blues have got a very pale, almost white wing edge. So I'm just going to sketch in some wing veins. I'm going to work on the left wings first of all and then I can come back and copy it on the right wings. So I thought a good place to start would be just making the veins nice and clear and I'm going to do that with my navy blue thread. I'm just going to take a single strand. I'm just going to do 
a chain stitch, just a, a basic chain stitch, keeping the stitches very small, just down that central vein of the butterfly wing. If you're not sure how to do chain stitch, I have got a video all about the chain stitch variations that we're going to try and use this month and I'll link it in a card at the top of the screen. So I've got my first wing vein in there. Now I wonder about using some of these variegated threads. So this one's quite dark. It does have some sort of purpley shades in there, but I think it's definitely more blue than purple. So let's put another vein in and I'm just going to use chain stitch again. I really like that. I think that just looks lovely. I'm just loving that. Carrying on, let's use another one of our threads. Let's use this other variegated one. So this is similar, but it's um, just a lighter combination of colours. Again, sticking with one strand. You could just use machine cotton for this if you wanted to. Let's try heavy chain stitch on this one. We work this like reverse chain stitch, but I'm doing heavy chain stitch so we start it with our anchor stitch and work a reverse chain stitch but we are going to go through each stitch twice so I'm going to go twice through the anchor stitch there we go so there's our next vein and I'm going to use a coarser thread I think let's try this one here it's quite greeny blue, but I don't think I mind that. I thought that a twisted chain stitch would look really nice. I can't tell you how much I love twisted chain stitch. It might have become my favourite stitch of all time. It's like a helter skelter. I've got quite a long line here, and I think I'm going to do a cable chain on this one. So that's the sort of combination of chain stitch and French knot. All these stitches are in the July stitch guide, which you can find on the Winging It playlist. If this looks too fiddly, you can stitch it without cutting out the wing. You can just draw the shapes onto a large piece of felt and stitch them on the felt. You could also just do a single wing rather than the whole butterfly so you could work on a much bigger scale and make the the two wings just do half a butterfly in your panel and do the stitches on a bigger scale i've got a space here and i thought that might be a good spot to put some double chain stitch So there's my first butterfly wing. I'm just going to make the three other front wings in exactly the same way. And then we'll come back and look at the next stage and how to put the butterfly together. Okay, so I've got my four wings that I've embroidered on and I've tried to keep it fairly symmetrical. It's not exact because I'm using variegated threads and the variegations work slightly differently but I've done it as closely as I can. So what I'm going to do now is blanket stitch the backs on and this is just a way of just neatening it up and hiding all that stitching inside. So if you're not sure about blanket stitch I'll put a card at the top of the screen to help you. I'm going to blanket stitch these in a similar way to the way I make the book. I've got some thread that matches the colour of the felt. So I've come up in between and out the back and then I'm going to come round to the front and up in between the two pieces there. I've created a bar over the top there and I'm keeping my working thread to the left. And then I just blanket stitch in the usual way. So I'm just pinching my two pieces of wing together and I'm just going to blanket stitch all the way around. I'm 
So along this edge I've done my crested chain stitch and I'm just going to work my blanket stitches in between those stitches because I don't want to disrupt my crested chain stitch so I'm just going to work my blanket stitches in between the crests and what you'll find as you're stitching your front and back wing pieces together is that because the felt is embroidered the threads actually give it some structure and work a little bit like wire and you'll find that you're able to bend the wing a little bit and it will just stay where you put it and so you can actually get some shape onto these wings which is really nice so when you get back to the beginning take your needle through your first stitch and create a loop and then take your needle through the loop and then slide your needle in between your two layers of felt and bring it out somewhere else pull on your thread push down with your scissors and cut it off and the thread end will just disappear back inside you can then shape your wings as you wish I'm just going to do that with the other three wings and then we'll come back and do some work on our background I've got my four wings there and I was going to just put them on so that they stood up from the surface but I really want the butterfly to stand out and I feel like it disappears a little bit so what I've done is just grab some really small scraps of fabric and I thought we could just make a little collage background just for the butterfly to sit on maybe something like that and I'm not gonna do too much with this I'm just gonna pin it in place and I'm just gonna tack that into place with some just ordinary sewing cotton and we'll just do a quick running stitch you could make the background as fancy as you like but I don't want it to be too bold because this is just creating a home for my butterfly I've just drawn with heat erasable pen a line across the diagonal and that's going to help me position things and again I've just got some normal sewing cotton and I'm going to position the wings so that they fit into my square so that's that line is going to help me keep things central and all I'm going to do is just put a few stitches along that inside point just to hold that wing in place. And then I'm going to do the same with my second wing. Now you might be thinking she's putting these on upside down but actually I've just had them upside down for most of the time I've been filming. If you look at a butterfly's wings they actually are pretty flat and the shape is in the lower part of the wing. That's the two top wings and then I'm just going to add in the lower wings and I just want those to sit slightly underneath. my top wings so again I'm just putting a couple of stitches along that point to hold them in place so we've just got a couple of other final jobs to do I've threaded up some navy I've just got a single strand here and I'm just going to lay my body piece over the top and just use an applique stitch to hold that down and these stitches are, are also going to help secure the wings now these butterflies have quite fluffy bodies so I'm not going to worry about my stitches being too close to the felt if they spill over that's fine because it's going to give the appearance of fluffiness I'm just making sure as I go that my wings are going where I want them to go rather than being pulled in a different direction. 
and our final job is to add the antennae so just to be sure I'm going to just draw those in before I stitch them. I want them to be fairly symmetrical and these are going to work very nicely in chain stitch. So I'm going to start at the head of the butterfly and just work a line of fairly small chain stitches. And I want a slightly bigger chain stitch at the end. But I do quite like the fact that this one is a bit of a stitch showcase for our chain stitch variations. So there is our three dimensional butterfly. I absolutely love that. <laughs> I, I know, I think I say it every week, but that might just be my favourite panel ever. I just think it's magic and I don't want you for a minute to think that I already know that it's going to work. I hope that you can tell from some of my videos that some of the things I create I'm not entirely happy with. They seem great in my head and then the execution or the reality is just disappointing. But this one I, I sort of had the idea in my head and hoped that it would work can't wait to see what you create from the prompt of blue do share your work at hashtag fsh winging it and so that we can see all our blue panels together if you also add hashtag fsh winging it 27 if you have enjoyed that and you want to watch another video where we make something three-dimensional i'll put a card down here and i'll put a card up here that's best for you and if you'd like to subscribe, click on the Feather Stitch House logo down here. So I will see you in the next video. Happy crafting and I'll see you soon. Bye.